This video is a, to back, a, a video to show you how to create and organize your folders and then use the drag and drop facility to actually put the right files in the right folders and keep all your stuff on your computer well organized. The first thing we're going to do is decide actually where we're going to create our folders. So we click on start, then click on my computer and within your computer you can either use the Microsoft system here where they create accounts based on your logon name on your XP home computer, it's slightly different on a network or you can decide to store it on the physical hard drives now for me I like to store my data on a separate drive to my um, operating system so that I can do stuff as I need to without compromising my data but well, I'm going to create a folder system or, um, on the local drive here because that's probably what most of you have got so click on the local disk C drive and then in here we can create our own folders these folders here are the ones that are already existing that have been created by the operating system um, and you need to create your own folder so that you know where your folders are, where your work's going to live and you need to use that structure the whole time the first folder that we're going to create I like to call my filing cabinet folder and this folder is um, where you start to save all your work so I've right clicked on a white space and I'm going to click on new do it over here right click new click on new then click on folder and a new folder is created I'm going to rename this folder by hitting the backspace button and I'm going to rename this Now this is the entry point to my entire folder tree structure and if you stick to this you'll always be able to find your own work. So I'm going to open up all my own work now and inside it's blank there are no folders in it but it's, it's in within this blank space here that I can start to create a um, folder hierarchy that enables me to locate my work really quickly. So again new folder this one I'm going to call personal stuff and a new one again I'm going to call this work stuff and then within each of those folders you can then start a whole branching tree that's related so obviously when you come into this your personal stuff goes into your personal folder and your work stuff goes into your work folder so inside the work folder again we have a blank space and I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to put planning um, and then I might have um, oh, I can't think of anything particularly um, uh, resources and then I might have a new folder called and so within each of those folders you would then store your um, the relevant work so thinking ahead my planning my planning is broken up into years and terms so again within I'd have perhaps term one and then term two and so on and you can organize that so if I come back up through my tree and you can a browse th through your entire folder hierarchy by using this button here or the back button but I like to use the up because it and reminds me I'm going up a level we've got the planning resources and school admin folders within our work stuff folders and inside our personal stuff it's empty so I might want to put um, family photos maybe um, I might want to put or something like that and that's how you basically keep your file structure organized that enables you to separate out your work stuff from your home stuff your images from your um, other uh, data that you like to keep and keep it all in a folder and keep that structure so don't save stuff in documents and, uh, in, in my docs or wherever you always save to my own work and then within that, within that, you have your structure of you know le left for personal stuff, right for work stuff, and within work stuff you've got planning and resources, and within planning we've got term one and term two, and within term one you might have break that down into weeks. It depends how you want to organise it. So 
how do you f now you've built this file structure folder structure how do you actually move folder move data into those folders really quickly well I'm going to show you I'm going to do some filing in some other folders of mine that need uh, work done on them in my DK zone here I have my David's data that's all my stuff obviously then I break this all down I've got my own work stuff in here and if we go into Metabank I've got work in here as well now I've been a bit slack here and these are images that I've already got a folder for called images and I need to move them into there so what we can do is we can click on a folder that we know is an image and we can hold the control button down and select all the other pictures that we want to drag and drop into the images folder so click this one, Novell, Novell there's a blend, I'll get rid of that one, Novell, Novell and that's a video file for Flash now then I can release the control button and press the left mouse button and drag it up to the images folder can you see how the images folder changes colour? I mean, I'm happy that that's going to be the place to go I let go and all the images have moved at once into the images folder same here with this Meadow, Meadowbank logo blend.1 this needs to go up to my blender animations drag and drop let me see flash video needs to go up to my flash file um, prize giving 2007 that's oh, I need to put that in a folder called new folder and I'll call this school admin and I need to put that into school admin and then I'm not sure what to do with that PDF folder and that's me having completed my very quick and simple um, filing system and all of a sudden now I know all inside here will be all my blender stuff inside my images folder here will be all my images etc and my, my work is nice now nice and organized